chemical properties. Okay, chemical properties are chemical reactions. What do these things do? Um, alkanes and cycloalkanes don't have a lot of chemical reactions that they undergo. The most significant one is combustion or burning. So alkanes undergo vigorous reaction with oxygen. Usually that oxygen comes from air. That's accompanied by heat and light. And it's an exothermic process. Exothermic, remember, is heat or energy exiting. When we exit the room, we go out. When we're talking about exothermic or endothermic, we're talking about looking at the chemical reaction. Is the energy leaving? That's exothermic. If it's endothermic, it's coming in. Okay, so propane is an alkane. Does propane burn? Do you live in the country? Do you have a gas barbecue? That's propane. Does it give off heat? That's why we burn it. It gives off light also. A butane lighter, that's a cigarette lighter. It makes light, doesn't it? So those are combustion reactions of alkanes. Um, what do we need to know about this? Um, you did learn this in general chemistry, but maybe you have forgotten. Any complete combustion of a hydrocarbon is going to give you carbon dioxide and water. So here's methane reacting with oxygen, gives us carbon dioxide and water and release of energy. What would this be, C6H14? C6. Hexane. hexane. Thank you. So this is hexane. Hexane burns too. Hexane reacts with oxygen, gives carbon dioxide and water. These things burn very cleanly, provided they have enough, you know, that they're pure. And you want to make sure that they have enough oxygen. If there's not enough oxygen, they generate carbon monoxide, and that's bad stuff. Incomplete or partial combustion will give you some carbon dioxide and some carbon monoxide. Another chemical reaction that alkanes and cycloalkanes can undergo is a direct reaction with halogens. The halogens are group 7A or group 17 in the periodic table. Um, the ones we talk about in organic chemistry are fluorine, bromine, and iodine. Sorry, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. How do you look at the word chlorine and say fluorine? I don't know. I was thinking about not saying fluorine. Chlorine, bromine, iodine. So here we have a reaction. This is ethane. Ethane can react with bromine. Now, it generally requires some sort of a catalyst, something to get it going. So heat or light will cause the bromine to substitute for one of the hydrogens. So here we see bromine has substituted for the hydrogen on this carbon, and then we have hydrogen bromide as one of the products. It can also substitute more than one. And that brings us to another section.